Hey guys, it's the Indie Bros, and this is the Indie Live Show yeah. Take Fucking Two. This is a backup episode because, uh, you know, YouTube's guidelines is not really fair, but they're not. Their opinions right now. We're about to voice our fucking opinions. Okay, so I want to say this: we are a small YouTube channel with fifty subscribers. We're, We're no small money. So what's the point? What is really the point? Control. We're getting no money off this shit. We're making no money, no gain. We're just trying to build ourselves. We're trying to build a name for ourselves. We're trying to become something. Life. I don't understand. What is the problem with them? Like, we had a great really, live really, really, show really, really, really. recorded. A great live show. That's, don't worry, because that's not going to stop. Like Episode 3 is going to be crazy. This is just a backup. But like I just don't understand why we have to do another live show. Because they blocked our video because of the songs. I guess we got to do the lyrics. We played a fucking Juice World song. Okay, I get it. But if we were making money, I feel like I would understand more. We're not getting no money. Like, Juice World is not hurt from this. No, it's not like we're profiting we're off this we're dude's death. We're supporting him. Like, if you want to, we're not, like, watch Juice World's video. Like, that's kind of what we're doing. We're I'm promoting. PS4 controller real quick. We're literally promoting. I just don't understand. Uh, uh, so they're playing the ghost of Yashima. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And... I'm just plainly fed up already, but you know what? I sat here, and what did we do? We made it. This literally just happened. I just want to say, we, right this now. literally just happened. This is a bad video. We got video. on our fucking mics, and we fucking sucked it up, and we fucking made a video. Guess what? It's still on Twitch, so that's not gone. Yeah, so if you want to watch it, if you want to see our live show, twitch.tv slash se.91, that's how you're going to see the live show, but we need to put something up. And if any accidents happen, of course, YouTube will be the filtered one. Filtered episodes. More. And that's kind of what we wanted. Cause because it is. YouTube is like that. So like we kind of have no choice. But that's what we wanted. That's kind of what we wanted. This show that we're doing right now is actually not even live. Um, so yeah. But, I, I, but uh, we were live. We did it. We already recorded this video today. So that is okay, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. And we got to do it again. Yeah. It's frustrating. But you know what? Uh, I'm not going to be bitter about it. I'm just going to... We're going to do, do a quick start off with, uh, with music and games. Of course, uh, one of the things that we talked about in the other previous live show was Ghost of Tsushima, which I have running actually in the background oh, right now. It's definitely going to be the number one game of the year. That's what we're thinking. We were talking um, about that there's not a lot of number one games of the year, and I was saying something about it because the generational thing, 2021, and it's going to be, I feel like, the games of the generation in that area, which I feel like that's their goal, but that's my opinion on it. And, and, yeah, so this game, like I said, this this year has not been the greatest for video games, um, but Ghost of Tsushima came out of nowhere, almost, right out the ballpark, hitting it at a 10, hitting an Albert Pujols, number listen, 10. Listen, listen, I didn't play it. Number one, I mean. looks like a fucking 10. That looks, oh, obviously number one, but 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. When I say the, 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 um, the graphics. The collectibles, the way it looks course it's, it's gonna a look great nice aesthetic day. game but then the fucking bandanas will do the haiku the combat just everything just everything i love samurai the story the music i mean like we can go on and on about ghost of tsushima i'd yeah. say it's game of the year and if you have a playstation and you have no interest in it what is wrong with you, you need to have an interest God of war and ghost of tsushima that's probably like yeah. one of the god of war ghost of tsushima horizon zero dawn persona 5 yeah yeah and spider-man spider-man yeah but besides i think this beat spider-man for me though Oh, because it's a whole different one. It's a whole dude. I don't know. It's a samurai game. I think that beats Spider Man in like the eyes of it. Maybe Spider Man Two is good. Spider Man Two is gonna be great. S Miles Morales is gonna be insane. That's gonna be great. That's gonna be insane. It's gonna be insane. Okay, so for music, from what we did last time, new music that dropped from here, I would say Joey Badass, the Light Pack. So get on that. Yes, if you don't listen to Joey Badass, you're f what the fuck are you doing? I don't want to bash you, but I kind of want to bash you at the, the same time. Because you're fucking stupid if you don't. Because he's, he's next up. He's already up. You just, you just don't see it. He reaches prime so young, dude. All the like, uh, facts. He's still in it, dude. So he's not gonna be out of his prime until he's done. He reaches prime at our age, dude. Literally, he had, he had things that were crazy. So, uh, Chris Rivers, self inflicted, <laughs> self inflicted bubble boy. That's a Chris good one. Chris Rivers, big pun, son. Yes, if you didn't know that, of course not. Eight. Little fun fact. Eight episodes. I mean, eight freaking tracks. You know that. Don't forget that. Don't forget uh, uh, Jadena. Uh, Jadena dropped Black Magic Hour, which is an insane song. I would play it for you guys. But you know our situation. <laughs> so, yes. We're bounded by stipulations. Bounded by stipulations. Speaking of stipulations, eyeballs. 
an eyeball coming out of your eye and it doesn't even come out. We're talking about WWE. Oh my god. Do we really want to talk about the eye for an eye match right now? We're going to talk about it. Gonna, it's whack. Jesus fucking Christ. WWE has run out of ideas. Listen. That, so it was like this. Like, uh, he didn't even kick him. He didn't kick no, him. he had his fucking... He did the same thing he did before. Like, I get it. You know, it's a it's a risk kicking somebody's eye. But if you call it an eye for an eye gouge match, it's no eye gouging. They, there was... There actually, you know what we didn't see? They did do. They did show something of an eye that resembled an eye. It was a fucking ping pong ball. P- ping pong ball. It was a ping pong ball with fucking sharpie on it. God damn it! And, and I didn't even see that. I didn't. No. E- we literally didn't watch the rest of the pay per view after that. Yeah, I was done with that. My dad said it was good. My dad said it was alright. Some matches were well, all right. Well, the Bray Wyatt one. I would like to see it. I will go and rewatch it later, maybe today. Um. But WWE is just not in the right place, not in the right time. I mean, yeah. co- COVID really did change the landscape of entertainment, probably forever. We'll see. Yeah, I mean. But um, AEW, if you don't watch that, that's what kicks. That's what kicks. If, you, if you're a professional wrestling fan, just go watch AEW. It's on TV, too. I mean, it, NXT's good, too. NXT's good, too. Getting cold. We're going to get answer the call right now. Hello, my wonderful lady. You are live on. We are we are here. What's Indie up? Productions. I just told her we got claimed and blocked on fucking YouTube. Yeah. And Not yeah, it sucks. Capital, it yeah. sucks. It's it blows. Uh, because we play music, we play fucking music. Juice World. And they blocked our video, so now we're recording a whole new one. We're recording a whole new one right now because a whole little show. We need we need to keep the train moving. Like, they can't stop us. They, they we, can't we're recording stop. literally a whole new video right now. They can't stop us. We took. They can't stop. They can't stop us. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it kind of makes sense because they're very popular. Okay, yeah, but we don't make money. We don't make money. We're literally giving a promotion. We're giving fucking free promotion. We don't make money from this shit. There's no monetary gain. There's nothing. I just don't get it. That's the problem. That's why it's an they, issue. They just want control. I And we can't even fight anything about it. Right. The video, it, it, it's not going to be up. We're gonna, It's going to be blocked. So we literally have to hear, talk to these wonderful people. And we were just talking about music, actually. A whole nother thing. Oh, but listen to Rich Today by Flip De Niro, too. I'm going to get rich today. I was going to say that. That shit's fire. I was going to say uh, Shoes, uh, Lu- Lupe Fiasco. Oh, yeah. And featuring Virgil Abloh. What is that? Abloh. Virgil Abloh. A horrible connection right now, so I can't even hear a damn thing you're saying. But yeah, this is what the show you, babe. Bye. is. This is what this little show is right now. This is just getting everything together because we just do not know what's happening right now. But this episode three is gonna be a lot more better. It's gonna be better. We're gonna we're gonna have a little different format where we're, when we do the videos and we do things, we can stop them earlier, or we just watch, look at the lyrics, and we do like a thing where we read it which, and it's funny. Which is what we're gonna do because. We, we haven't talked about entanglements today, so I think we're going to talk about entanglements. Entanglements right now. We're going to talk about entanglements right now. If you do not know what that is, if you do not understand what that reference is from. Rest um, in peace. Rest in peace, Will Smith. Willow Smith. Just Willow kidding. Smith. <laughs> She's not dead. Uh, Will Smith. Will Smith's uh, not. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Never mind. He's buried. He. I mean, he's honestly, buried. after Rick the Ross, song. Rick Ross buried his, his fucking him with his tits, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so I'm just going to look at the lyrics. I'm going to read them real quick for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Because it's. So when you know, it's where's this? Just grab my wallet. Whenever it's uh pretty bad. It's pretty fucking bad. As you see, man, we're upset about this video. If you guys really love this and show support, man, fuck you too. Give this video support. Yeah, help us out. It could have had a lot more potential. It could that have video a, was great. That video was good. We got the thumbnail. We're gonna ask us off. We're gonna put the thumbnail. Still there. It's still there. We got an awesome. We got an awesome thumbnail. We actually have a YouTube banner now. We hit 50 subscribers, so thank you guys for that. We're also going to do something for 100, but that's, you know, we'll talk about it when it is. We'll talk about it when it happens. But we're going we're to want to do something for 100 subscribers, like something 100 related, like 100 do this, 100, you know. We'll you know, something like that. We something will. like that. We're going to work on I it. Think, I think that's awesome if we do that. Um, but this is really where Rick Ross's wordplay got us dead. So he said, as you can see here, that, shoddy leaning on my shoulder got a question in my willpower, which... Will Power Will Smith, right? jaded by her beauty, but her reputation real solid. Ooh. God, man. Ooh, oh, my God. 
the, August was reckless making this shit. I mean, look at this hook. Look at this hook. The definition of entanglement is what's it's when you're tangled in the sheets. He's talking about another dude's wife right now. Yeah, and he has the car keys for everything, the house and the car and shit. The thing about it is that Will Smith has no upper hand in this situation because the way it was out, right? His wife even fucking said it on like live and everything. So like, you know what I mean? It's no type of step back. There's no, there was no reason to make this. Yeah, yeah I know. There was literally no reason. Hear it. Yeah. Hear this right now. For right money. now. That ain't my girl, but I got the key to the crib, to your car, to the crib, and to her heart. She don't want to label shit. Damn. But she needs me in her life. Damn. That, that kind of Will Smith. Really, really, really. Fuck. And does she need him in her life? Because I, I feel like if she didn't, she wouldn't have said this shit. I think she needs him in her life. Uh, rest in peace, Will Smith, okay? He's, making, Fuck, he's out there making good movies and stuff. And then Gemini, man. and just, He's out here, yeah, making movies, making money for the family. And what does she do? Shaking money for the family. Yeah. Not for her family, for the self. But. Fuck. Ooh, Ridiculous. Any bros don't like that. So we like loyalty. Twitch. Uh, you see that the German video that we watched that was lit. I gave that a three out of five for 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 me, you know. For yeah, it was good. If if you want to see that, go watch the Twitch vod because it was it was cool. It was German rap. So every time we get, you know, we're always gonna direct you to the Twitch to some things, you know. Because of what happened, yeah. of course. Uh, this is just going to be up on Tuesday. You're watching this on Tuesday. It's just a backup indie live episode, and you we know have what? A lot of these. If we have to do it, we have to do it. So, and what I'm going to keep reiterating is, we are building. This is the building blocks to the foundation of our brand, to the foundation of our videos. And you know what? I'm going to be as authentic as fuck. And we, I don't think we fucked up. I don't think we fucked up. I don't think we did too. We we try our best, and we take advice, and we improve on any ways. And every day we try to look at it as a learning type, like mm -hmm. we prove. So how can you fuck up if you look at that open-minded and mm -hmm. you want to grow with people and you want to help people grow also? Mm -hmm. Like there's nothing wrong with it. And, you know, we're just trying to do good in this community. We want to be good. For, for, we we, we, we want to be known in our community as well, of course, because we want to take care of our people. We want to know where we're from, even though I'm not really from here. I'm living here now and I've lived here a lot of my life. So I'm not from here, but it still means a lot. Elite. But you know what? Brockton's gonna get love. Chicago's gonna get love. Puerto Always. Rico's gonna get love. Always. Portugal's gonna get love. Always. We're from a lot of different places. Okay, Always. we I got family from Florida. I got family from Michigan. I got family from Minnesota. Vegas. Vegas, yup. Yeah. I mean, like, families all over the world, you know. And yes, sir. shout out his uncle, his his uncle, his uncle in the Navy. Yeah, for man. real, he's a, he's a cool fully, dude. Cool fully, fucking man. dude. Giving us good advice, you know, always. Man. Of course, so, yeah. He's always working about building, man. He builds his life. Man. Constructive criticism is the best criticism. Especially when it's from family that actually care, you know? Like, he's just really trying to, like, do shit like that. Yeah, I like that. Which is good because, I mean, we already have improvements. As you can see, we get the mics here. Every we day, you know? Look at that you know? eyeball. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the setup is not mm. what we always want to do our live show on. It's not. It really isn't. I don't want you to get used to this set because we actually had a better set today. Yeah, exactly. And don't get used to any bro's love. Don't get used to anything, yeah. Because every day, we're going to be like something a little new and you're like, what the fuck? Okay. Once we get st st crazy structured, it's a little different. But mm -hmm. still, we're always unpredictable. Always. And undeniable. Always, always. Energy. Always. We will always. never stop it. <clears throat> Cranberry fucking Red Bull sucks, dude. I thought I was getting that, that Juice World um video eh, that we got demonetized from. Eh. Was it worth the demonetization? Wishing well. That's you what know? it was. It was Wishing Well. Yeah, he looked like uh, DJ Academics. <laughs> he looked like it was, it was animated like from in the fanboy chum very, chum engine. He was so stubby. <laughs> like I, you know, respect always. Of course, but, respect. Rest, rest in peace, Juice. Of course, but always. Any bros are not afraid to put out their opinions. You know. Yeah, like I didn't like, like the album. I didn't like the album, and that's just. It is what it is. If, if It's not what I want for music. We, like, I mean, he likes haters, man. Conway, Benny the Butcher, you know, like, yeah, motherfuckers that people. shop. They shop. I go for people that try to really, like, Freddie Gibbs, I go for people that really look at a project, just a simple project, as a single, as, like, a literal, uh, what's it, classic, you know? They freaking, Conway, every time he does it. He looks at it as a classic. Even the art, they work on it hard, and they're authentic, and they really say what they live. Yeah. So yeah. that's what's... And that's what I like. Because right. I don't like, I'm just sipping in, I'm just sipping beat. I just took a beam in this sucker dick. 
Wait, I just hit the beam in the Goku shit. Like, I don't care about this shit. That's a stupid shit. Like, that was weird. Like, you know what I mean? No, the baby voice shit. Why do people do that? Lil Uzi, if you're listening to this little Uzi in Playboy Cardi, you suck. I know you're not listening to it, but you fucking suck. Like, and, and, and everybody rides your fucking dick, and this is a this is a strong opinion. That's why I'm fucking loud. And the thing about stop this, riding these rappers' dicks. We bros don't need that. have strong opinions, but we don't hate music. We love music. We know music is so different. We just listen to a German music song, and it's way better than Playboy Cardi, automatically. Regardless, what the boy is the on the regardless with the language, man, play. Uh, it's too bubbly. It's too. It's too it's, pussy. It's. It's not. Hold on, guys. It's not. Here. Mel's gonna be right back. We're gonna. I'm gonna carry the live show for a second. Take a little break. You know me. He's gonna go grab something important. We're gonna show you in a second. Um. But um. Tell him I said what's up. For real. But I, I wish I could go down. But next time. Next time. Next time. Um. But for real, like, authenticity is key. It is key because if you're not authentic, which most people aren't authentic, it's a problem because you, I always, always tell people to be themselves. I, you need, you need to be yourself. You need to be yourself. And, and if you're not yourself, then what are you? You have to really think of that. If you're not who you, who you are, who actually are you? Who are you trying to be? What styles are you trying to replicate? Stuff like that. Um, but if I had to say, because we were talking about Melo's favorite musicians, if I had to say who mine were, uh, I mean, Mac Miller, J.I.D., um, Jadena's great, Gold Link is great, Rich Brian, awesome, awesome, awesome people, uh, Pusha T, uh, Smoke Dizza, I mean, Earth Gang, so, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, so many talented, talented musicians are out there. It's just you have to kind of search for them because I don't like the mainstream. I, I'm, I'm not that kind of person that is like, oh, you, you bought that new Drake yet? Like, it's not for me. Is it good? Is Drake's new song good? Popstar's a great song. Um, but I just don't listen to it in my spare time. I don't listen to it in my... It, it, I smoke a lot. So a lot of my music reflects kind of a smoking style. You know, you're just chilling. You're vibing. And most of the people that make that music, like Currency, like they... I can smoke all day. They smoke when they record their shit. And to be honest, when me and Melo record our shit, we smoke when we record their shit. Like, we record our shit. He's mad authentic, so. You got it already? Mad authentic. Holy I shit, guys. Later, but, um, so that was yeah. quick. Indie bros are back in action. Did he so get it out of his car? Oh, shit. This later, buddy. guy's real, okay? We love him. We love him. But anyways. Already. Yeah, what were you talking about, buddy? I was talking about authenticity in music, and my favorite artist that I like to listen to, and what style I like. And I told, I was saying that I like to listen to smoking music mm-hmm. because we smoke a lot, and yeah. it's just authentic. It's exactly. authentic. Do you want to be an empty vessel in your life, or do you want to actually have control? And I heard that, and that's kind of one I, yeah. So. And that's why he said that, yeah. So just be authentic, be yourself. I really support people, even if, if, if you think you're weird. You know what? We're weird too. Because guess what? We're so fucking weird. All puzzles are not going to be the same, but they fit the whole picture. And same thing with trees. You know, they're literally in the earth. They're literally earth. You know what I mean? It makes the earth itself. The death does too. Death is just an illusion. So when you look at it that way, it's like we're all feeding on something that's like an organism. Earth's an organism and we live upon that. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. weird. That's how, like, that's kind of the way it works. Yeah. It's really weird. It, it is it is really weird, but you know what? As people, as humans, as all the same kind of person, I just want to say that real quick <laughs> as we're dealing with issues with unity. We are the same species. And the whole point. Color, looks, it's sexual orientation, world. religion. I don't give a fuck what it is. Be who you want to be. I look at be you. Be who you're meant to be. We look at you, and we look right through you. We see what you really are. That's why we don't mess with a lot of people, but like... Right, we don't have a lot of friends, but that's okay because the truest it's and family the right here. people. Yeah, it's not even like you know, you never has to worry about like we never have to worry about what our problems. We always solve them. We talk like men, you know. We don't even really worry about nothing. <laughs> we barely even have problems. We if we have problems, I just tell them straight up like, "Yo, this is going on," and that's it. And then we'll be like, "Oh yeah, cool, nice. All right, let's move on." Because we both are the same. We're we not, don't it's have not time. Like a, it's not like a girl and a boy type. We're not dating, so it's like. 
we both want to just move on. We with both the just go. Yeah, we're just like. That's how I am. Is with this girls even too. worth it? That's how I am with girls too. Because I always like, I always like, I but don't fight. I, I, I hate sit. You solve your problem, but I hate like sitting like. Back here, like it's just. Oh, it sucks. Right. It's bad energy. I don't like bad energy. But you know, sometimes in a relationship, I, I'll say this out of my experience because yeah. right now I'm in a very great relationship. That's why. That's why a very great that's relationship, why. and. I, I will say this. Just come out and say this for real. Yeah. There's always problems. There, there's always problems. And you know what? If you can't get through them, it's just not meant to be. So if you can have a problem and you, you know, I, I have problems. I, I have issues myself, man. I I can be an angry, You're bitter not person. If you don't have issues. And you know what? I don't like to be angry. And I'm working on not being less angry because, you know what? That, that's going to be, it, it, personally, this is, a, this is a little personal, but I'm going to put it out there. If I was less angry, my relationship would be better. And that's on me. That's and on what, me. That's and and you know what? I'm a man to sit here and say that because n- men don't. They don't. Uh, they, they, you got to be emotional. I feel like you have to be emotional. Why? Why do we have to be emotional? Why? Because we live through energy and we feel emotion anyways. So if you just, you, you, you see the emotion, right? You, 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 you see what the hell it is. You feel it for what it is and then you move on. That's how, that's literally how meditation works and that's how you grow through these all things and have you literally allow yourself to feel the emotion, of course, because you can't hide it. But then you grow on. You don't let it control your life. One hundred percent. You only control what you can control. One hundred percent. And that that's gonna that's a nice smooth transition over to what I want to talk about next. Yes. Um, we talked about it in the VOD, so we're gonna talk about it here because it's it's a big part of what we said in our message in that video, and we're gonna keep spreading messages that maybe you won't agree with, but you know what? Just listen to how we say it. Yeah. Listen to how we say it. Um, yeah, yeah. But you want to talk about. Uh, COVID, uh, all right, the the outbreak that's CB. going on in our country. Um, what I want to say is purely fact. It's not. It's fact in my mind because here, that's what I'm saying. Wearing a mask is not a political issue, guys. It's not a political issue. It's only a political issue if they say it's a political issue, and then you think that, and then it's like, oh, we have a problem. Why do we always have problems? And then we solve it, and it's their solution. Why can't we as humans? I thought this was a democracy. We're supposed to be to get, but it's which, not. Which it isn't. It's just democracy by illusion. It's like a false, false democracy kind of dictatorship. Kind and that's of. how you automatically, that's how they automatically win. Right. And that's why I just don't want it to be a political issue because it's not. It's a human rights issue. And people here, if, if someone feels comfortable wearing a mask, why fucking judge them? And if I go to the store and I feel comfortable in a mask... I, because I do. I'm going to be honest. Okay, I don't want to catch no corona. I have asthma. Yeah. I feel like there's going to be complications there I, you, that I don't want to deal with. I'm not, like, you know, like, shy about wearing a mask. No, it's you, nothing, shouldn't you, be, shouldn't. you shouldn't call someone stupid for wearing a mask. And because if you do, what? fuck you. Because guess Literally. What? If you fucking, if something ever happens, then it's like, whoa, I should have done, you know. You should have worn the mask. We don't do that. We live smart. We put the mask on, and we don't also follow their rules. We like don't, they, yeah. We, don't, we, like, don't, we take every information with a grain of salt, like we should. Because the internet is a, a big place, and there's a lot of truth and fake to it. So yeah, exactly, hundred percent. This indie bro show is way more personal now, so let's get it. it I mean, it, it is personal on a level, and we just want to let you guys know that we care about every single one that actually is going to sit here and take the time to listen to what we're saying because we have things to say, guys. We have so much if things on, to say. If you're on the, the playing field, our playing field, and you understand, then we don't even need to explain that much. We just need, you know, you just need yeah. to feel. Yeah, and Share I just this. I like you know what and what this show is going to be a super heavy p- opinionated show because it's our show. And it's Indie Bros. That's what it is, and that's what we grew up on. That's why, that's why Indie Bros is Indie Bros. Right, and arrest the cops that killed Breonna Taylor. Um, yes, and guess what? Let's you know arrest you know more cops because guess what? Arrest the dirty ones. They want to defund the police. They might all I be. feel like that's a plan. Defund Defunding the police. the police sounds good because it's not taking away the police department, yes. which people are fucking idiots. That would be abolish the police, you fucking dorks. Exactly. And guess what? Why would you want to do that? We we listen. We we need some type of, you know, little a little type of protection, right? I never relied on the police. But I here's never, the problem. But we still, I never will rely on the police. Me but either. Here, here's the problem. Police funding takes away from school funding, from shelter funding. And guess what? But it's not community only, project funding. I feel like it's not only that though. They have so many. Mo- they, it, they do what they want to do, right? Right. But so they fund so the law. So we're worrying about space. We spend more shit on space and political. The military. Shit. M- space fighting people. Military. See, they know more shit than uh, we do, right? 
we just sit here and let this shit happen. And it's crazy because we can't, we don't have no control in a way when there's only people like us just sitting around here being like, oh, we wanted to fund the police. Yeah, I mean, it's not taken serious. It's not, it should be taken serious. Nothing's. Uh, and, 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 and to add on to that, of the school funding thing, we are taking away money for the future of the world right now. And you think they don't have enough money? I feel like if there was enough people and they had an agreement, we can do anything in the world. I, we don't need no money. Hundreds of millions of dollars spent on that. military every year. Tell me that. That was real, dude. I swear to God, people in like other places, they do money to, you know, to have some type of, you know, we owe this, we want this type, you know what I mean? And it's all control. It's just, it's a horrible thing, but it it's where we live in and we got to live. It's all and We just have to live through it. Live through it. We just got to live through it's it. smart. And I feel like it's hard to live through it, especially during this time, because it's like me and him, we're both jobless right now. We are both unemployed people right now. Right now. And guess what? Along with uh, millions of other people in America. Uh, so. Millions. Yes, That's not sir. good. That's not good. And everything's all fine in Daddy Trump size. But you know what? He's just a figure. Does he really have all the power he says he does? I don't know. I don't think no. so. I think he's just a figure. If you say you do, then you and know, people are going to give that hate. And then it gives them power. Just like 6 9 <laughs> yeah, true with like, that. I mean, Kanye West is kind of a growing issue these days, too. And distraction. Distraction. It's all distractions. All this stuff in the media. Oh, well, 6 ix 9 a rat. Kanye West That's is right. running for president. The uh, race war. Kanye West said Harriet Tubman was working with white people. Dude, it's all distractions. The race war. It's Gandhi is a slave owner. <laughs> Apparently he is, though. Apparently he was. But guess what? That just shows that America... No, no, those type of things. Real time. I don't know. He owned slaves, apparently. Okay, so slavery was real. It was real, and it was wrong. But what point to... Maybe Gandhi just had people fucking working for him. It's because he Maybe had, he had people working for him. So if you feel like he's a prophet, eventually, eventually, your pride probably will get to you. Oh, yeah. I don't... We don't know Gandhi, personally, obviously. We don't fucking know that guy. But we respect the things that he did. We respect his mentality, mostly. But the way the way that... uh, Yeah, the mentality. And the way that freaking... America is is like Columbus. They're like, oh yeah, he just he did good stuff, and then you know, did he though? You swallow the, you know, it's like a pill. It's like when you're like, okay, this helps. Well, that's what they teach you in school. Though. This helps heart attacks, buddy. And you swallow it, it's like, oh, it causes cancer. It causes here. You know, oh yeah, it's like, oh here, we're gonna give you a vaccine for the swine flu, but it actually makes your butthole three times larger than it's supposed to be. But the best thing about it is, it's not just gonna hurt you right now. You're not gonna know. It's a generational curse. It is, and, and I spent all my life getting vaccines. Who knows what that's going to do to me Guess if it what? even does anything. We have, and I think it, I honestly, there's opinions, people say shit, but, like, there, there's a lot of things that are happening now, like, every, like a lot of people are getting, AD, a lot of people are ADHD more than back then. Autistic. Autism. Uh, dementia. There's a lot of different types of things, and it's obviously. Well, dementia is just American football, guys. Come on. But it could be any, dude, we eat so much, like, processed shit. Red where, meats are not good for us. No meats. And red what? meats. All red meats cause cancer. Thing, when you see, when you literally see the meat and it's all red, nice and fresh, that's dye, because uh, actual blood will turn brown, and that's from. No. Also, why I don't eat my meat right away. I kind of let it sit out for a little, because then it starts to be a little brown. I don't know if that's gross or not, but I don't want to eat straight dye. I really don't. Depends. I mean, either way, I feel like... I don't let it rot, obviously. I know, of course. That's so nice. Either way, we can't get away from dyes. Because everything that's color is dye. Right. It's uh, food color. coloring. They're literally called the color for killers. You look it up and it shows you, like, blue one will give you this type of shit. It's, and it's so weird because blue one and is... In why is that it? Why Why is it allowed, though? It just makes no sense why it's allowed. It's because just, it doesn't Because we're right regular way. people. Because we're it doesn't Regular care. people. We are the people that can make a change. And we are the like generational we're... people. And it, that's why. Why. I but feel like we're the type of people to to go out there and create and change every perspective on every and not be afraid platform uh, and I mean, not not afraid to put in work and um, our shit's gonna be a lot better. You're gonna see better thumbnails. You're gonna see better every single thing. We just need you know we actually just not need to be blocked a lot of times. You know, today was just a tough day just because we were we spent the better half of the day getting that live show out for you guys. And they blocked it before. It was supposed to premiere tomorrow. They blocked it before it even came out. The best thing about it, you can get, you catch it up at the Twitch. Twitch.tv slash SCPunk91. It. So it's like two different videos right now. It is. The this one's the YouTube video, version. And then the backup. Yeah, yeah. YouTube version. This That's is the YouTube is. version. 
Uh, but we basically said the basically the same amount of shit in here. That's Maybe the talked a little it. more. The thing we did the bamboos, bean booze also. If you want to do that, um, you can just watch that. Yeah. And that sucked. Also, prank calls on the next. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna prank call next week. Next week, it's gonna be good. We're gonna probably do uh, Bova's Bakery. Probably do it. Yeah, we're gonna prank call Bova's Bakery. We're gonna we're gonna prank call a few places. We're gonna yeah. prank call a few places. We're definitely gonna. Um, we should do it on your phone because right now you know my. Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't have service. <clears throat> so besides that, uh, everything will be good. We're gonna we're gonna try to do everything we can. Yeah, and talk about new music that drops within the week. You know, what we always do. What we always do. And we show you. We tell you the shitty tracks. We're not afraid, and we also tell you the good shit, man. The good shit. We'll tell you the good shit. And what I want to say before we get out of here is. Um, Videos at this length, 30 minute, is not what we're going for for a live show. But because we already recorded once a day, we kind of condensed it down, put it here on the YouTube platform for exactly. you guys. But next week, hopefully next week, we're going to hit that hour mark. Um, be in a different setup. we hit an hour mark today. We're going to get a different setup. We're going to do an hour mark. We're going to have different things. We're going to talk about the new music, you know, everything, everything. It's going to be new new shit. So we just shit. wanted to have something out for you guys tomorrow. Because Some Because we said every week we had a live show. And every week we Every week we're going to have a show. fucking live show. And guess what? If no we, matter what. Exactly. And guess what? No matter what. Every day we've been posting. And guess what? How long are we going to do that? I don't know. You should tell as us. As long as we can. Just watch the videos and watch and find out. You know? As long as we can do daily uploads, I will do daily uploads. Me too, buddy. So, thank you guys so much for watching the Love indie live show Redux. Love you. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Jason. Stay tuned. For the indie tunes Don't know If there is any room For fake No 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 room for the fakes guys Thank you so much for watching